So hi, again here. So I would like to talk about uh, a DALI again, DALI BMS. This is the improved version that has the ability to connect also UART if you want to change the configuration or also you can connect the Bluetooth. By the way, I got the new Bluetooth uh, and not the older version that was uh, wrapped with a tape, something uh, not uh, very, uh, let's say, professional. And this is uh, looks much, much better. There is a, a USB connection. Uh, I think this is a, a mini or micro, I don't remember, maybe micro USB. And there is a connection uh, to the other side of the BMS in order to get all the data out. What I'm a little disappointed, I will show you what uh, what I'm talking about. This model is open. You see, it is not closed and sealed like the older version. And I think they claim that the older version is uh, a water protect, uh, not uh, of course uh, to in order to draw it into water, but. If you have maybe dips or, or, or a little water, it should be okay. I'm talking about this model. You, you can see the plastic, okay? This is also a DALI BMS. Uh, I think, I think it is DALI. Even if it is not DALI, the, the older version of DALI looks exactly like this. It has a, a black plastic all over it and it is sealed. And now the new one is totally open. So this is a little, uh, let's say, uh, I'm a little disappointed. Another thing, I ordered this from AliExpress. It took 100 days to get them. So I don't recommend uh, to, to order from uh, AliExpress, maybe to, to use other ways. And uh, Although this is sealed with, with uh, a protection, uh, like a, you know, this is like a paper from the bottom side, uh, it's not as good as sealed as the older version that has the plastic all around. Um, another thing, I also got uh, this, I ordered this. This is uh, so the UART monitor, and you can also with uh, the software from your PC change configuration and you have this one that you can use from your phone what is surprising to me is that they use a different connection so you have the UART connection that uh, you can see here so if we will look at the UART and I'm trying to ah, this is the UART monitor so you have a monitor so I don't know, if, I think the, the monitor enable you to connect, this is three pins. And then you have the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is probably, ah, the Bluetooth, so the, the UART is the Bluetooth. What, what I don't understand, let's say, of course this is for the balancing, the other port. What I don't understand, the UART and the Bluetooth, I would expect to use the same connector, because what you have, you, you have a signal and power and gnd and you have a tx and rx and you you they could have done a one connector to both connection the uart and the bluetooth i don't really understand why it is different and also each bluetooth has has a, an identification code that if you have some of them so each one has a different code when you connect to it so now I will try uh, to see that what I get uh, got is uh, is okay. So maybe I will unplug this BMS, and other than this, I will have to connect uh, the battery minus, and then we can try uh, to connect and see that it is working properly. You can see that the connector, the balancing is exactly the same like uh, this version i think this is not a dali this is like a, a copy of dali but it's actually uh, maybe it is even the same electronic inside so now what i need to do is to connect the minus i will connect and then we will try to connect uh, with the bluetooth to see 
that uh, I get data uh, from the batteries and uh, and that's all another thing that I want to show you I'm always using a fuse uh, this is very I think important not to trust the electronics inside so after all the connection I have another fuse that if everything burn out so it should disconnect and I found that all the fuse are pretty big in the size so I found a, like a PCB fuse that I ordered you can see the size is much 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 smaller the size is called 1808 because this is the dimension in millimeters of the width and uh, uh, and the length so you can see the tiny uh, the tiny fuse compared to this one this is also I think this is a, a car but the mini fuse of the car not the big one so I think I will use this uh, in, in order to be in a smaller form factor than this one it's much much better of course I will have to uh, connect wire solder them and put a tape or something but it's much much better to use this kind of size and also these fuses have a, a big variety of uh, numbers so you have them from 1 amps and I also seen till 30 amps so you have 10 20 and 30 and all the uh, all the numbers between uh, maybe 0 0.5 to 30 amps so this is quite uh, good for most of the applications that you need and if you need for example 50 amps so you can use a two fuse like this a 25 in parallel it will do the job without any problem so now I will try to connect uh, the Bluetooth and we will see that we get uh, data and this is working so let's try it out one very important thing to uh, to uh, remind you that this uh, is lithium phosphate BMS while I've already seen that since you can program everything so you can change the voltage to this lithium cell the, these are VTC06 Sony that the full charge is 4.2 and not 3.7 so now uh, I will try uh, to connect uh, the Bluetooth and already seen that you cannot connect the Bluetooth you need to apply charge and just after applying the charge it can connect anyway I will try to uh, to activate it like this and we will see if this goes okay or not but first I need to find uh, the DALI application this is the smart BMS application uh, you will see that, that it can't find the device I've seen it already before in order to make it start to work you need to apply a charge to the battery so let's see if this works in the same way here so I've put the tape in order not to short anything so I will connect now power so I also I connected it I connected it wrong you see the B minus should connect and not the, the P minus so my mistake let's fix it up this happens never mind so I will fix it now okay so now again I don't see the device I will now apply let's say 17 volts 1 amp and now you will see that just when I'm connecting the power suddenly the Bluetooth start to work so again you see you immediately see it uh, on your phone so let's connect 
okay so let's go over the menu and see what we can find in the menu maybe I will zoom a little so it will be better view for you 4 cells voltage 3.7 almost and now I want to see uh, that I can change them to 4.2 volts so we need to go to the settings preferences and now cell volt protect you remember you need to enter uh, the number I think it was one two three four five six no it was incorrect so what is the number ah I can change it 4.2 and then set yes you see it is changed to cell high voltage 4.2 cell low voltage in this case uh, can be uh, 3 volts so let's change it to 3 volts to be on the safe side okay it's changing it's, it is now um, sum the volt high protect and do all the things now I want to do a charge overcount protection let's put it to 10 amps and then have to press the set few times I don't understand why you have to press the set few times but this is anyway you see this is how it works uh, this is the charge current protect I will also set the discharge to 10 amps and tuck 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 few times to press it you see it is not changing now ah now it's changed you see the, the, the software it, it doesn't let's say go very smooth <laughs> okay so let's uh, see about other settings Ah, you see instead of this you have the type of the batteries that you can set and if I put a lithium so let's go to the parameter this is what I, I like already seen it so after you you do it so it automatically change the parameter I think let's try it again so I will do a uh, lithium phosphate battery and then we'll go to the parametric no it, it, it's you see it didn't change so if I'm doing a little okay so so some of the sync I think they really don't work from the application and just from the computer software this is interesting although we, we could change uh, manually the cells voltage and the cells uh, are charging maybe I will uh, we'll go back and we'll try to, to see uh, I, what I will do I will charge with higher current now I will go to 3 amps and you can see that actually the cells are above 3.7 so this Hello. is not a lithium phosphate uh, batteries okay so these are not lithium phosphate because if it was on the setting of lithium phosphate uh, it would have stopped the charging at this, uh, at this uh, moment and it is not doing it also you can see uh, that I'm charging at 3.1 amps and the total voltage is 15.2 uh, volts uh, so overall this is working as expected and I'm very pleased with the DALI but I wish if the plastic around uh, was also in this version uh, so now I will try maybe later to connect to PC to see if uh, I can change between the type of the batteries uh, and it will change all the settings something that is not working here in the iPhone application
one other thing that I like and I see that it is working if you will look at the temperature right now 25 degrees uh, this is the sensor in my hand now so if I'm touching it it's filled the warm of my body and you see it's changed to 29 30 degrees Celsius and going up so this is also working properly this is a very nice feature to uh, to measure the temperature and decide if to disconnect something and to stop the power of the cell okay so i want to show you how to connect now you can see my window i choose the few option of, of chips now i don't understand what is the difference but uh, i'm working on com7 and this is the browser that you should use uh, uh, 9600 data bit 8 priority none because someone asked me how to work with this so now you can see that the open serial port uh, was successfully so now after connecting i know that i have here four cells so i will mark them i want all the logs here to work why not and you see that it is now starting to scan and to get all the data out so you can see that the cell voltage now uh, by the way i am not charging now the battery so now maybe i will apply a I will apply a charge and we will see where we can see it so actually where we do see now the current ok you can see now that you have a mark on the battery uh, you can see the current I think the, this number you see uh, 2177 I will change it to 1 amps let's see if it is cha uh, changing now so now I've decreased it to 1 amps and uh, we don't see at all maybe I need to disconnect and connect it again I don't understand maybe scan uh, maybe clear log and then scan all I really don't understand why I don't I don't see the current now. We change it to 1.5 amps and it stopped. Uh, okay, let's go to calibrate. Uh, you could calibrate the parameters here. We already seen this. Uh, current ok go back to info I don't understand why it is not showing now the, the charging uh, but it says that the battery is 97% but we've changed it to lithium cells this is what I want to try to understand now maybe about the info uh, we have firmware update and it is charging this is what I don't understand uh, let's see if the voltage cell yes it is going up we can see that actually the voltage is going up if you will watch it we increase the current maybe you see it is going up and now it is showing also the the charge uh, let's change it to 3 amps I change the current to 3 amps you see it is changed but I don't understand why at 1 amps it is stopping 
maybe there is something in the menu now I'm charging it one amp it disappeared this is interesting I don't understand if this is a bug or what but anyway we have the data oh, we have the fast discharge and we have all the flags that we can change let's read all the things here okay we can change all the flags here if you want to over current enable or disable for each cells pack configuration quite a lot of data here and uh, you can see the manufacturing date by the way this is a uh, pretty new this device I can change the serial number this is interesting let's try to write it and then we'll do a read ha this is interesting you see it did change the serial number of the cell ha this is interesting you can change parameters here and it's actually doing a write to e square pyram or something you also have the protection time protection short current uh, and also over uh, over voltage delay this is nice you can control it so pretty nice pretty nice data so let's look at the charge uh, data okay quite nice a lot of data that can be changed actually if you're a regular user you don't need all this data okay so this is the most interesting data for me anyway all the logs here so the monitor is working also as writing data fast discharge you see these are the parameters that I wrote in the bluetooth they are still here uh, the discharge 10 amps and also charge was 10 amps and it is written and the charge voltage is again it's 4.2 volts and not a 3.7 so everything is quite nice so now what I've done I've added the total voltage and I've changed the maximum to 4.1 volts I can show you on the MCU charge this is the over voltage the over voltage release and the charge and voltage 4.1 volts so I set all of them to 4.1 volts in order to see if it will actually stop the charging this charging now is 2.2 amps you can see it here 
we are now close to the 4.1 volt limit and I'm curious to see if it will actually stop by the way this is the external temperature this uh, the ones that I showed before if I'm, if I'm touching it now you will see that the temperature is rising up it sends my hand temperature you see a 26.6 now so this should be uh, connected to the battery itself uh, so let's wait to see if this is stopping okay so now we are very close to the limits uh, again we can see all the parameters what I want to check now uh, let's see if one cell uh, will stop or the charge or if it will continue let's go to see here some of the parameter ah we have the balance balance current I don't expect to be able to change this number let's try anyway ah I can balance open current let's change it to 200 million let's try to write it I'm impressed if this is changing the data let's see for we are now near 4.1 volts this cell is really close we can see the current here almost 2.2 amps it should stop something let's see what happens at 4.1 volts the total voltage is 16.177 volt cells are very cold nothing uh, special about this charge okay we have 4.1 volts let's see what goes and what will happen now you see this is starting to discharge unbelievable charging and then discharging okay probably it is doing a discharge wow it is doing a high discharge so it stopped do you see the charge current my power supply is stopping so eventually uh, the balance is not uh, let's say very good but overall this is pretty impressive that I'm using a lithium phosphate and I can change the setting and use it for regular lithium as a charger so overall DALI is a very good company you can see it very impressed so thank you and bye